Hello and welcome back to another video. And this is day four. So in day three, we looked at how to make a tip calculator, and hence it's obvious that we will do something harder for day four. So today we'll be making a dice generator. Although the end result, the code may seem much shorter, it is actually more complicated. So it is not to say the longer the code, the more complicated it may be. So firstly, if we want to make a dice, we want a random number each time. And if we were to do this ha by hand, this would take um, months, maybe even, well, a year. But however, Python has an inbuilt system which allows us to use two words to create this function. So in order to get this randomness, we have to import a function called random. So this just gives us our flexibility for random numbers. So now I'm going to make an input which is called question. Input. Oh, what did I do there? Input colon. Do you do you want to roll a dice? Type yes or no. So again, backslash n is new line. And dot lower means their answer will be in lower case. So if they were to write yes, or if they were to write yes, then it will automatically make those letters lowercase. So if question is equal to yes, so the double equal sign is the way you do it in Python, and it basically just means is true to or equal to. Uh, let's call a variable called dice. Dice equals random dot Randin. And what this randin function will allow us to do is pass the parameters for our dice. So the smallest number is 1 and the biggest number is 6 included. Print. You have rolled a dice. But what I forgot to do was put in an f string. So what this letter F does is it can it allows all data types to be passed in through this. So else, so else nothing needs to happen. So instead of saying else and just leaving it, I can say else pass, which just allows my code to be a little bit neater. So I'm going to say question underscore one, underscore one, input. And let's just copy all of this. So do you want to roll a dice? Type yes or no. While, so now we're creating a forever loop. While question underscore one is true to or is equal to yes, colon. Now we just have to copy some of the code. Oops. Okay, so so dice equals random dot random. So we only had to import some of these things, or rather copy some of these things, because the while statement is the same as the if statement, but just forever. Anyways, that's hit command s or control s if you're on windows and run it yes do you want to roll a dice yes i do you have rolled a six do you want to roll a dice yes i do oops looks like sublime's not being very helpful today So do you want to roll a dice? Yes, I do. You have rolled a one. Do you want to roll a dice? No, I don't. Ooh, that should have stopped. Let's have a look. So, okay, so this is a problem. We have to copy this. And paste it into here. Command S or Control S. And let's run that again. Do you want to roll a dice? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Repel close. It works.